next one. It's oh, going yeah. to be a game up in the forwards. We know the quality that both sides are focusing on the Rhinos. Oh yes, and it's a very, very exciting game because uh, the, chief, the Buffaloes have actually been reconstituted from uh, the old team that was there. And they're promising bringing talent all the way from Western Kenya to Nairobi. Right, the UAP Rhinos dominantly comprising players from Kenya, Harlequin and Nakuru, Mumia Sugar Buffaloes. Sides from the western part of Kenya, Kisumu Rugby Football Club and Masinde Muliro making the Mumia Sugar Buffaloes reconstituted and ready to do battle against the defending champions, the UAP Rhinos. And you can see them there, action-packed, ready to run. It's the Rhinos in the yellow colours. A very experienced squad, coupled with a lot of internationals, both 7s and 15s, taking on a very, very young team from uh, Western Kenya. And this team has been the backbone of Kakamega High School in recent years, and now making the foray into top-flight super rugby. And their Rhinos coached by Edward Kinyan in the front row, the Kangeda brothers, Joseph Kangeda Warui, and his brother, Sam James Kangede. Makoria Nowenye will play at second row, the back row. Ouma Jaffa Joach, Collins Achayo at number nine. Fly off Weru at midfield. David Ambunya, Patrice Akunda at the back three of Leona Dongo, Sidney Ashioya, and Vincent Tongera. The replacements for the Rhinos, Baraza Mutai Owor, Kennedy Mogere, Naftali Bondo, Kombo, and Wariuki. So that is the Rhinos' compliment for this match against the Mumias Sugar Buffaloes. And you can see the chairman of the Kenya Rugby Football Union greeting the teams, very excited about this game. The Super Series is bringing regional rugby at its best, improving. And you can see the Mumias Sugar Buffaloes line up. We have at the front row, Angawa, Mwavali, and Chenge. And the second row, Omondi and Lidonde. In the back row, you have Lanya, Kabiru, and Opio. Your halfback is Okomo. And at number 10, Alusa, one wing, a winner. In the midfield, Mze and Omondi are the centers. The other wing are Shikanda. And at fullback, Sidindi, the replacements are Oruko, Okombe, Ondijo, Amwere, Ayodo, Keegan, and Okomo. So it is bound to be a cracker in the second match of the match day one of the Super Series. The Mumia Sugar Buffaloes taking on the UAP Rhinos. This is the penultimate of Kenya Rugby, the premier Rugby 15s tournament comprising eight franchises. The Buffaloes, the Cheetahs, the Lions, the Rhinos, the Sharks, all from Kenya. Raymond Arua, the man in the middle, a referee of vast experience, bringing his hand and he's going to officiate over this one. Not forgetting this year's competition is going to be played in five venues. Nairobi, Kampala, Arusha, Mumias and Arusha. And today, match day one, we have games in Nairobi. Two games over, one's been played. This one's taking place. And also kicking off at the same time in Arusha is another game, the Sharks versus the M-Bank Twiggers. Of course, both sides sucking themselves up. You can see the Mumias Sugar Buffaloes in blue. Just ensuring that everything is up to speed. They're taking on the defending champions, the UAP Rhinos the most successful franchise side in Bamburi Rugby in the Super Series. Who is going to emerge victorious? Only time we tell. Match official Raymond Oruo, the man in the middle, assisted by Sarah Otieno and Constant Cup. Television match official Mwangi Kirimi. Interesting development in the Super Series this year that there is a TMO, a first of its kind in East Africa. Let's hope that he doesn't get too busy and they can actually have a very relaxing afternoon. But you never know, for the next 80 minutes, what will go play? And the kickoff, Mumia Sugar Buffaloes in blue, kicking off straight into the Rhinos. And it's a great catch by Patrice Agunda, showing strength in his feet, right. taking the ball down. Achayo out to Ojoach. Booker there, Simon Warui, keeping the ball in control. But they've been outmuscled, outrocked by the Mumia Sugar Buffaloes. Good start by the Buffaloes. They swing it out wide. Strong run coming in from number 12, Kelvin Mze. Sets up yet another ruck. Elvin Okonga, the scrum off, looks to be a very key player for the Buffaloes. He'll be the link between the backs and the forwards. Jacob Valley beating one man. Buffaloes play isolated, turned over. The Rhinos have it. They look dangerous. Achayo. No advantage, however, Buffalo's offside. Achayo takes it quickly. Lays it out to Kangede. Rock, run off! Run off! 
They need to get the ball back. Please, get off. Got a roll away tackler coming very clearly. Early days in the match. They've drawn the penalty. You okay? Was a good start by the Buffaloes, nonetheless. Oh yes, I mean they showed that they're ready to take the game right straight to the Rhinos, and they're not fearing and they're attacking straight at them. But you can see, consider the first penalty, Rhinos opting to go for the lineup. Gibson Weru, experienced sevens player there, Buckford. calling the shots at the backs. Yes, Gibson Weru at number ten today for the UAP Rhinos. A huge squad of thirty, and they've got quality men who can all don that number ten jersey. However, it's Weru who has started in for the Riders today. Akore takes the ball well, and they've settled Keep down there. Getting their feet in position, getting the bodies in right position, and driving it up the way. Buffaloes disintegrating, but the ball's out by Achaya, Achaya out to Weru. Weru to Patrice Gunda, who loses the ball in the tackle. Yeah, he just seemed to hold on to it too long, not clearly knowing when or how he was going to give it to Agunda. You can see Weru showing the ball. He did it well. Agunda just unable to keep his hands on it. Strong tackle, however, coming in from his opposite man, Kelvin Mze. Been very, very visible early in this match and definitely will want his presence Coach. felt. And that's how Coach. you want to start the match, letting up, up, the opposite up. man Yellow. know you're there. Oh, yeah. Early days, still nil-nil. Come, 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 come. The scrum down. Hold. Both teams Coach. will want to settle Touch. down. Hold Show their strength in the set pieces. Stolen by the Rhinos and number eight, Jaffa George picks it and runs towards the line. Rock, leave it! Good Powerful. play from the number eight. Great awareness. He looked Come up, he saw the space. It's out to the nether, but there had to be an offside there. That defense line came out. Duncan Lanya, a bit too eager. Can the Rhinos convert this pressure to points? It was a good run by the number eight, Jeff George. Just got the attention of the Mumia Sugar defense line. And you can see there, finding Kanye there and just unable to hold on the Buffalo's offside. Stay bound, the, one of the Rhinos opted for the back, opted for Stay a scrum bound. down. That is not bound. Wanting to flex their muscle early in the Move. game. Show their experience. Attire, 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 attire. Calling the shots. Oh, 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 twins oh. from Australia. Touch! Pause again! For the, Buffalo, for the Rhinos today. Child. Stay into. bound! Stay bound! Charge control. Stay bound! Chai, you're hungry for it. Back, back, back! Oh, yes. And it's a try by the number eight, Jaffo George. Great try by the Rhinos. James Kangede, Simon Oriu, and Joseph Kangede totally dominating that scrum down. They had the control. Look at that. Great body positions. Jeff George controlled it, got his hands on it, and is in for the try. Early moments in this match, the Rhinos draw first blood. No doubt about what their intentions are. You can see they want to dominate up front, and this is where they feel they are strong, they feel their experience, and they've got the weight. And especially with the two Kangada twins back from Australia, this is where they want to make the Buffaloes feel the pinch. Yes, and they like that. You saw Oscar Homer there just edging his boys on and telling them good play. Good play by the Rhinos earlier today. The UAP Rhinos, David Ambunya. Can he stretch his side's lead? Had a blinder of a game in the Kenya Cup final last week. And will take kicking responsibilities in this match for the Rhinos. Ambunya strikes it well. It's got the height, it's got the distance. David Ambunya gets his name on the score sheet. The UAP Rhinos take an early lead. And there we are. Achayo almost wanting to take it out, but Ojwaj controlled it well and had it in for the try. 7-0 to the UAP Rhinos. Fresh early start. Jeff Ojuach there, the try scorer. Under-19 international for Kenya with a great future, this young man. He did feature in the Junior World Rugby Tourney early on last year for Kenya. Has emerged as a very solid man at number eight. Run! The junior international there, Oscar Oma catches the ball from the kickoff, setting the platform to it, giving it to a child, or to Weru. A fine touch with a long kick. Richard Sidindi, the man at the back for the Buffaloes, unable to control that ball, or had it gone out straight? No, Sidindi actually the man who took it out, so it is going to be a line-out. But Rui needs to get his line-out correct early in the day. Pressure coming in from the Buffaloes. They've turned it over. Rock, get off, get off! 
Gary De Winio just unable to control it on the top there. Get a foster. And they weren't rolling okay. away from Four. the tackler. Get off. They have James, one of the Kangeda brothers, two twins at front row, a tight and loose head prop today for the UAP Rhinos. I've just returned from a stint of study in Australia and immediately landed positions in the Rhinos. That is the quality of the two twins. Nonetheless, Leon Adongo brings play up. Nick Lango taking the ball in. Chayo giving it to Ashoya. First touch on the ball, caught there by the Buffaloes, but able to flow to a judge. Takes it in. Rock! Get off, get off, get off! Chayo attacking the base. Gives it to Jared Owinio. Jared Owinio with a good run. Good hands by Owinio. It almost looked like he was going to drop, but he had the presence of mind. Ashioya takes it quickly. Yeah. They've got men on the outside. Leon Adongo. He's got the pace on the outside. The Kenya Sevens International with no problem. Good thinking by Sidney Ashioya. He took the tap quickly, caught the Buffalo snapping, and the Rhinos with another try. Clear intentions from the Rhinos. You can see Ashura there taking the ball. Quick penalty out to Leon Adongo, who races over to the line with ease. No worry. The officer, they call him Fry. Great try. Nick Lango with a wonderful offload found Leon Odongo, and you know, he plays sevens for Kenya. No wonder you can tell the pace yeah. in the man. No one was going to catch him. Great try by the winger. You can see the intentions of the Rhinos. They're not holding back. They're going to take every ball that comes and they're going to attack from every position on the pitch. And that's resulting in the points they've scored so far. 12 points to them. Ambunya, David Ambunya, former schoolboy, now playing club rugby for Kenya Harlequins and franchise rugby for the UAP Rhinos, attempting a second kick. Yes, he is a man to watch David Ambunya at only 18. Starting for his club has been selected to his franchise side. I will not be surprised if he's called up by the national 15 side. He strikes it well, he's got the height and it just veers off wide. Unlucky for Ambunya. So the Rhinos with an early lead, dominating in the set piece, dominating in the scrum. And there you have Liana Dongo. He was just untouchable. Blistering boots. Try scorer Leon Odongo. So the Rhinos with early lead. A rude welcome for the Buffaloes in town. 12 points behind. Let's see what they're made of. They say they're confident this competition will set them go far. Pull together with Victoria and Renzori. Kick off again. Alusa with the restart for the Buffaloes. Finding touch. No Rhinos player put his hand underneath, so it's going to be a line out. There are a few grounds filling to the brim. Blue, blue, give! In two out outstanding matches right now. The Rhinos in yellow taking on the Buffaloes in blue. Second line out lost there by the Rhinos. Buffaloes showing their intentions that they aim to compete in the, in the set pieces. Not scared to go up in there and challenge the Rhinos. You can see them again. What do you want? Jared when you're having problems there. Huh? Under pressure Line from Back here. Martin Omondi. Yeah, just unable to control the ball in the air. Owen will need to work on it. Jacobs Mwavali. They find Tenge. Can the Buffaloes make use of this ball? They've got the rock, they've got the mall. They're walking very eager, the Buffaloes. Throwing everything they have behind it. Come down. Took it in. The ball was actually held by a Rhinos player. Good work by Jared Owen, almost making up for the loss in the line out there. But he comes good and wins possession for his side. Giving his team the advantage again. They have a put in at the scrum down. What will they do this time? Coach! Good drive there by the Buffalo, showing up there. Not afraid to take on the big guns. The experience is actually unbelievable for them. Before Most of these players have been playing second be. division rugby, now to step up at franchise level, he's a great, great learner. Crouch! Curve. Touch! Balls engage! <laughs> stay bound! Stay bound! Stay bound! Solid strong by the Rhinos. Find Weru, puts it high up in there. He's got men underneath. Agunda. And Agunda Patrice recovers. The high up kick. David Ambunya. Has he got the legs? Finds his support and Nick Lango will cross the line. For one of the tournament's outstanding tries. What a well worked try by the Rhinos. I mean, a kick by Weru, finding Patrice, who caught it in there. 
brushed off the challenge of uh, Fidindi, offloaded to Ambunya. Ambunya who rests for the corner. There you have a good guy. He got under it. Great pace by the centre. Time out. He finds, combines well with Ambunya. He does well. Captain. Stretches the defence. And Nick Lango was left in the open. Crosses over for a try. Great try by the UAP Rhinos. Good support play by Ambunya and Lango as well. Look at them. They're finding each other. Wanting the points, hungry to score. Nick Lango, the Nakuru RFC flanker. Very, very strong. Very, very versatile. Well, well, well. Mumia Sugar Buffaloes. Are they overwhelmed? <laughs> this is the Super Series Rugby, Franchise Rugby, and the boys mean business. They've had three weeks to prepare. I mean, they've been training for the last three weeks. One of the first early franchises to get uh, going. But I think uh, this level is very, very high. It's super rugby level. But it's still early days. They have a chance to come back to the game. We need to know what the Buffaloes, Mumia Sugar Buffaloes, are made of. David Ambunya with another shot at goal. That one, it's got right and just pulls it wide. Unlucky for the centre, was very instrumental in that try. He had Patrice Agunda getting under it, bumping off Richard Sidindi like he wasn't even there. Eventually getting tackled, but he finds his support and that is the difference. The support play, Lango in position, great try. 12, 13, 6, finding each other on the pitch. Nick Lango there, you can see him, very ferocious, wanting to get back. Nick Lango plays his rugby in Nakuru. He is the captain of Nakuru Athletic Club. Restart by the Buffaloes. Taken by Uma. Dodge pummels his way into the Buffaloes defense. Clean rock there. Chayo. Plenty of time. Take it in. Gives it to Shoya. Long pass out to Agunda. Gives it to Ash. Great offload by Ashoya to Muhanji. Beats one, they managed to keep it alive. Oh, Referee boy. has stopped it. Unlucky for the Rhinos. They were moving with intent, quite dangerous then. You can see Mohanji had the ball, makes the offload on the tackle. And I think that's where the forward pass was called. Unlucky for the Rhinos. The Buffaloes at sixes and sevens in their defense here, not knowing where the attack is going to come from. And that is the quality in this Rhino side. They are able to create plays from anything and attack from anywhere. Up. And tidy scrum there. Referee blows it. Back there. It's going to be another reset. James Kangabe, Joseph Kangabe, marshalling the front row together with Touch. Simon Ward. Again. <laughs> Under pressure, the Buffaloes from the Rhinos. Rush. Still managed to retain possession. Hold. Good control there by the Buffaloes. Kelvin is guilty. Of the turnover. Twice. I'll take the first one. Just taking their eyes off the ball. They're looking at the defense because they are menacing when they come in with a gunda. You can see the strength in the Rhinos come down. Really pushing the Buffaloes back. Alusa giving the ball to Mze and Mze just unable to control it. So, let it change so the Buffaloes will need to minimize their mistakes. seems to have an issue with uh, the boots. It has been wet in Nairobi the last couple of days, so the ground could be quite slippery, and uh, Kelvin Muse just seems to be having an issue with his shoe there. Very unorthodox, he just ran out of the pitch <laughs> to change a boot. <laughs> Is that allowed? Time on. Scrum down. I think the referee called time out there. It's going to be a scrum down. On the 22, an attacking scrum down Touch. for the UAP Ball Rhinos. Again. Chayo. The Kangeth is putting tremendous pressure on that front row of Angawa, Mwavali and Chenge. Their opposite men, will they crack? Again. Will they be able to withstand the pressure from those boys? Because they're big boys. It's a big front row that the UAP Rhinos have out here. It's going to be a long afternoon for them. They've got to Coach. be very resolute and very Touch. firm. Both engage. Jeff Ojoaj picks it up, out to Achayo, Achayo still with the ball, Mbunya. 
Oscar Oma. Mark! Get up, Blue! Big ball here. It's come out. Achalo. Hold, hold! F finds a Shioya. They pass it out. An attempt at quick hands. Has it come good? Weru. Weru finds, finds a Gunda. Rock! A Gunda never wanted to shy away from a physical contest. Chayo gives us going ever. Yeah, they pass his way through. Presenting the ball. The ball's very much available there. Just taking their time to construct this attack. Buffalo's reorganizing their defense. Run! Showing some great strength there. And stolen by Okongo. Okongo out to Alusa. Puts it up in the air. Ashura catches it. And jinxes his way through the rear guard. Oh, what a run. Ashoya over the top. Will he make it? Oh. Bramwell Chikanda saves the day for the Buffalo. Ashoya beating the traffic, going to three men and left to the fullback, Sydney. Sydney Ashoya got the ball high up in the air, put it under him, and he was. Yeah, no one was going to catch him. He goes light, he goes rough, the dummy run, and just unable to make it at the end. Sydney Ashoya. Great attack by the Rhinos, wasn't successful. So it's going to be a restart by the Buffaloes. Soaking this pressure. The Rhinos attack coming from anywhere. Weru. Finds a judge who flows to Omar. The cutback and pass. Patrice Sagunda, he's so strong and stable on his feet. Omar driving it forward. Get off! Get off! Oscar Omar had a great season last year. James Kangeve. Look! Pounding run. The Buffaloes need to be careful. They've got bodies lying hold, all hold, over this one. Hold! Hold! Chayo. They find a George in the open. Oscar Uma, he's got the legs. Solid tackle coming in just short of the try line. Adongo. Adongo sets the platform there for the Rhinos. Advantage! They're inching closer to the try line. Edwin Makori has set up the mall. Super advantage! They are driven to ground. Desperate defense by the Buffaloes. Ojuaj powering his way, but stop there. They've still got men behind it. And is it? Jared Owinho is over for the try. Great work try by the UAP Rhinos. They kept their structure, they kept their composure, never got excited on the breakdown. Relentless pressure from the Rhinos. You can see those pick and drive, pick and drive, and Jared Owinho seeing his gap just dived over the line for his stay, first stay try stay, in this stay, game. Stay. Well, super serious try, actually. Jared Owenio. Uh, it's okay. That's, that's okay. Jared Owenio, the try scorer. Stay, stay. Relax. There's his rugby locally for Kenya Harlequin. Yet another youngster who has emerged as a formidable force who will be knocking on the selectors' doors on the nose of the Kenya 15s. Because remember, the Bamburi Rugby Super Series is a showcase. The premier rugby talent and a Buffaloes player getting treated. Shots of the crowd there. Look you at the powerful see. drive by Kangebe. Rushing through. Yeah. Top shot of the line. Yeah. Is the ball well back behind? Uh, 120 kilos landing on his neck and uh, yeah, he's going to get his attention but the Kangere brothers making their impact felt in the early days of this match. Remember, they've just returned and very instrumental. Conversion unsuccessful by Ambunya once again. So the Rhinos will maintain their lead at 22 points midway in the second half, in the first half of this match. Another look at the try again. You can see the pressure from the Rhinos. Jared Owinio and the Ford supporting each other very well. Jared Owinio plays his club rugby for Kenya Harlequins. Very, very hungry. Looking for a national call up this year. Hoping that the selectors will find favor in this game. Calling up at the school. So the UAP Rhinos showing why they are defending champions. Jacob Mwavali 
is back, has recovered. Fortunately, Kangeda's impact has not ended his match. Good take by Agunda. Agunda everywhere, looking for action, looking for the ball. Achayo, pass goes to ground. Lovely pass there. Referees call it. Kangeda, 120 kilos of him. Not an easy take up front. There is a man down for the Rhinos. Hold, hold, hold. Took a knock earlier. So the UAP Rhinos are setting dominance in this match. The Buffaloes unable to respond, unable actually to get within striking distance of the Rhinos try line. Patrice Agunda is the player and getting treated. He's been everywhere. Look at him jumping for that ball. Sort of tackled mid-air. But he managed to place the ball and he's up on his feet again and ready to continue this game. Kenya 7th International, Touch. Patrice Agunda, Both one of engaged. the young upcoming stars, also Junior International. But Juach with another pick. Well tackled. Oscar Oma showing the power in his feet. Very versatile, Oscar Oma. Try score Aouinho. Beats one, draws two men. They need to get it out quickly. They've got men on the outside. Need back in pass. Down, down, hit him! <laughs> and the Rhinos players getting the man isolated in all sorts of problems there. Achayo flings it out. Ambunya, he's got the gas, he's seen the gap. Leon Adongo, one hand off, beats two men. Ref, give it! This Rhino side seems to be totally unstoppable at the moment. But they've lost the ball to the Buffaloes, who clear Lusa. Two yellow! Away. Side! And, uh, yes, it was offside by the Rhinos. Two! So the Buffaloes will have the advantage that David Ambunya saw the gap, incisive running by him, makes the pass out to Adongo. Tackled eventually by Brian Lidonde, just. And the charges were put to rest there, so... Respite for the Mumia's Sugar Buffaloes. Oh, you're fine. Seem to be taking their time with this one. Kelvin Mze started the game well, has gone a bit quiet in this quarter. Oscar Uma did it go forward, seemed to have gone straight down, but should have made better use of that ball, Uma. Fortunate for the Buffaloes. Didn't find touch there with that penalty, but. Uh... Oma gives them another chance oh, to form another attack. Rhinos dominance, Peter. Yes, the Rhinos uh, seem to have settled in, not uh, doing too badly in the last spell of play Coach, there. Touch! Mumia's Ball. Sugar Buffaloes trying to find a way I mean, through. They've settled down somewhat as well in this half and have earned a free kick here. Early hook, early strike by the UAP Rhinos. Very Buffalo. young side, a very young side there, the Buffaloes, but uh, not, 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 not the side that uh, is going to give up attacking. Quite fit, taking on the Rhinos in the back. I show you there, no choice but to step out. Tried very much to keep the ball alive. It, it was Sikanda with the kick, put it up in there, got the chase on, putting pressure under the Rhinos' defense and uh, come, 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 just come. unable to keep it in Sydney, I show you. He's a dangerous ball runner. So, so they'll not want to kick many of those balls to him. Mwavali. Good throw, good drive by the Buffaloes. Can they make it to the line? Good control there. Okongo gives it to Alusa. And they're running at the Rhinos. They lost it in the tackle. Side. The referee is calling it back. Side. The Buffaloes finding their feet somehow, putting pressure on the Rhinos defense. Are they going to kick for goal or play the line out? Remember, they have not scored in this half, so it'll be interesting what options that they take. Yeah, the first serious attack by the Buffaloes, and you can see that they're putting pressure on the Rhinos. They're also ambitious and they're taking it up. Started to go for the line out, and it's kick 
got zwei. Bei Kabiru. Gab zwei. Okay, gab, 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 gab. Ich wollte Chuck auf der Rhinos Line. Was macht ihr denn? Zwei. Yes, uh, Mumia Shuka Buffaloes foraging into uncharted territory for them. The composition of this side, primarily between Kisumu RFC, Masinde Muliro and players from the western region of Kenya. A good inclusion into the Super Series Rugby tournament for this year and definitely accounting for themselves this afternoon. And tidy line out there by the Buffaloes, almost stolen by Jared Owinho. But still a second chance for them. There you have Joseph Kangede. He is working, exerting himself. Oscar Uma recovers for the Rhinos. Buffalo's line out isn't working right now. So it will be the Rhinos. It was taken in, held up. Good strength by the Buffalo. So it's going to be a scrum down. It was taken in by the Rhinos. Can the Buffaloes make use of this? Haven't seen much in their attack out wide. Possibly because the ball they're getting is not clean off the back. Well, you can see it's from the way the Rhinos have decided to play and uh, take advantage of the dominance up front. Very close, very Coach, tight. Touch. Yeah, ball engage. Eight, front eight for the Rhinos. Buffaloes. Tusa. Gives it out. Mze, Mze gives it to Sidindi. Sidindi crashing in, but held back by the resolute Rhinos defense. Ball. Side six. Still up there. Time to get it out. Six. Side. Yeah, Buffalo's play getting offside there. They need to just control their attack a little. The Buffalo's getting a bit excited on the fringes and not maintaining the discipline. You can see Patrice Agunda going in with a tackle. And Duncan Lanya is the offender, not coming in through the gate and has been penalized for that. But they're not shy to attack these Buffaloes. I mean, any, any chance they get, they've attacked the Rhinos. Uh, you can see a bit of an experience in the squad, a very young squad, but uh, not shy to attack at all. Yes, and they're one of the teams that, in my opinion, will emerge through the tournament as they get more playtime, as they get more game time. Get to know the ropes and figure it out. A potentially dangerous side. It's a very tough, Buffaloes. it's a tough pool, this pool. Two Kenyan teams, two Ugandan teams. Next week they host to one of the Ugandan sides in the competition. But for today, they're in Nairobi playing the defending champions. What better way to start but meeting the best? It's definitely. The UAP Rhinos, like we said earlier, have won this thrice, this tournament thrice. The history of the Super Series tracing back to 2003 when it was initially won by the Rhinos then. So in 2010, once again, can they defend this? Super Series trophy. No team has ever Touch. won this tournament back okay. to back. It's always produced a different winner each year, and that's what makes the Super Series exciting. Up, up. So it's a battle at the scrum down right now. Angawa Mwavali and Tenge going up against James Kangede, Simon Warui, and Joseph Kangede. And you can see the drive coming in. The Buffalo's front row just unable to hold that drive and almost standing up. A lot, a lot of pressure Touch. there. A lot of pressure. Almost being out, out muscled and outweighed. But they're holding their feet. Not bound. Nick Lango, Oscar Oma. bound. Being called by the referee. Won't. Elvin Okongo clears his lines. Seen quite a few calls from the referee on that uh, back row binding, oh, yes. breaking off the scrum early. Something both sides need to watch. I'm sure the technical bench for both sides, Edward Kenyan coach for the Rhinos and Ochiengwa Haya, will need to correct that. Nonetheless, Duncan Lanya plays it out wide. The Buffaloes midfield, Kelvin Mze puts it in there. Mohanji controls it. Just unlucky for him. Dennis Mohanji was called up to the Kenya 7 side Hold up forward. for their last uh, surgeon. Has come back, was called up, fortunate to be called up to the Rhinos. And just unlucky for him. Did he actually make contact with it? Um, I think close call there. Close call there. I mean, uh, it looked like he was attempting to catch the ball, then he moved away, but uh, the referee has called it. Two uncharacteristic mistakes by the Rhinos. They lost their line out. And then again, now this one. But you can see the one off the Oh, Mohanji with a surging run. He's got one man to beat, Dennis Mohanji. Strong on his feet, and just when we thought he was caught, 
Dennis Mohanji has crossed the line for the Rhinos. Oh yes, making up for his alleged mistake where his alleged shot lost on. Looks to have pulled something in that run, but nevertheless got the five point and a bit of pain there, Dennis Mohanji, Kenya 7th International. Got the ball and beat one with one man to beat. You can see Zeppelin gave him a hand off and straight to the line for a five point. And there it was. Maybe a hamstring. Richard Sidindi at the end there, just unable to contain Muhanji. Never really committed himself to that tackle. And just at the end there, Muhanji seems to have pulled uh, a muscle of sorts. Great try by Muhanji. A bit of pain there, but uh, will being looked after. Just when the Buffaloes looked like they were coming into the game, uh, conceding a try through Dennis Muhanji. But that is the class of this Rhino side. They've got over five Kenyan internationals. Dennis Muhanji on the field, plays for Kenya Sevens. Sydney Ashoya, but there we have the try. You can see Jeff or Josh of the pass, and Muhanji came in almost like a thief in the darkness, beating his man. He still had lots of work to do. He's quick, he's big, he's strong. Great try by the winger. Richard Sidini looks to have covered him, but then again, uh, powerful man running at you. Stepping in left, right. Over forward. The one on one. Stay. Buffalo's on the restart with the ball. Newman Opio, the captain. Can he inspire? Can he lead his side through this torrid spell? Here? Advantage. Lusa puts it up in advantage the air. Over. With Muhanji again. Calls a mark. Needs to scratch it first. The mark is there. Muhanji takes it. Oh, seems to be limping. Muhanji, struggling a little bit. Yeah, struggling a little bit. I mean, in a bit of pain there. But I'm sure the coach is watching to see whether he can manage it to last until the half time. Up in there, taken by Richard Sidindi. Puts it back, chasing it himself and catches it. What off? Yeah. It's a rock. And Joseph Kangela with a thumping tackle on Sidindi. <laughs> the Buffaloes have it. Still on the attack, the Buffaloes. Kelvin Mzee. Sidney Ashoya. What can he do this time again? An exciting run of this young man. Look at him go. With the ball, looking for support. Gives it to the officer. Leon Adongo. Offloads to David Ambunya. Ashoya again. Pick and drive. The pick and drive. A child. Gives it to Jared Owinio. Jared Owinio. Blah, 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 blah. Strong on his feet. Taken right. back by. Anthony Kabiru, good tackle by Kabiru, but it's still with Achayo. Gracie, Oscar Ouma picks it off well. Has he crossed the try line? Oscar Ouma pulls yet another one off for the Rhinos. Everyone seemed stunned and had stopped like <laughs> there was almost a problem with that one. But the Rhinos, class showing, coming out clearly. The pass was back in, hard tackle coming in from the Buffaloes, and Ouma just picking it off before the ball went to ground. Great try by the back row. A very fast push of the ball here is Oscar Oma. Very strong, very fast. And you can see they're hungry to score. And he basically strolled over to score a try. Oscar Oma, under 19 international. Gibson Weru, yes, the attempt the conversion. The class of the Rhinos coming out early days in this match, Herbert. The Rhinos just... The Buffaloes have no answer to this Rhinos attack again? right now. And if you remember what the... Look at Sidney Ashoya there, jinxing his way through. He's the one who started this run. Good 20, 30 yards. And gives it to Luke Seven 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 to David Ambunya, who then had the presence of mind to present it back to the rest of the support. Ashoya still Seven. very much in the fray. Seven blue. Seven. Achai released it to Jared Owinho, who set up a platform there. Shot number seven. Captain. Oscar opened the try scorer. Plays his club rugby for Nakuru RFC. Very powerful and personal flanker. At yes, times has played fine. on the Thank wing you. for his club, but more comfortable in the forwards. Yes, I have had a chance to watch Oscar Oma playing sevens, and in open space, he is devastating. Yeah. Yeah? Keep yourself. No, no, no. Don't. Don't use your booty. All right? Time on. Yeah. Referee saying no boots there. Must have been a ruck, and uh, the player was guilty of rucking. So, 
as we wind towards the end of this first half, the Rhinos firmly in charge. The Buffaloes unable to put anything on the board to date. Roll off, roll off. Good take by Edwin McCory. Jeff George. Good run. Forward pass there. Ball up forward. Not forward, not forward actually. Buffalo is showing that uh, they're still in the game. They still want to play a big part in the game. The score doesn't mean anything to them at this moment. You can see they're very hungry. But uh, it's the experience. The Touch. difference in class between Balls the two against. sides is definitely telling. And the ball stole again by Jeff Ojoach. Powerful run at number eight. Not Roll off, run off, forward. Going for defenders, Achayo fights Kangeda. Kangeda supported Roll by his Roll off. twin brother. Can Achayo get it out quickly? They have men on the outside. In an attacking formation. Long pass out by Agunda. Muhanji unable to control, just manages in the end. They're isolated though. A bit untidy, but they managed to clean it up. Achayo. The refs called it. All of one. Yes, the Rhinos were stretched there. They got the ball out wide, didn't have men. The ball carriers went to ground too soon, not allowing the support enough time to come through, and they paid the price for that. The Buffaloes with a change. Peter Okongo is coming on. For the Buffaloes, Buffaloes make a substitution in the first half. Should they have waited till the half? Peter Okongo coming on for Meshak Owino. Meshak Owino had a, taken a big hit early in the game and didn't seem to be in the game after that. Just uh, walking up and down. Time on. Ball of what? Coach timely withdrawing him. Good wait for the half. Think, uh, wanting to consolidate no, 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 his numbers no. and uh, the ball is in. I'm interest seeing. in the safety That's why I'm there. of the player. put on my side. Just come down. The Buffaloes. Crouch. Can they Touch. get to the on the board for their half? Look at the power of the Rhinos. Yes, and whenever the Buffaloes win this one, they seem to be kicking away possession. They get to win good ball, they get the ball out wide, but just when you think they hold on to it and they kick it. And once you kick away the ball, you have no possession. So they look to retaining this ball, playing with the Crouch. ball in their hands as opposed Touch. to putting up high. Pause again. I think the ball and is hold. coming out too fast for them. The, the, the relentless pressure from the Rhinos, not giving them time to settle down. You can see another steal. The tighter, Jeff Ojoach, picks it. He is having a blind out George, enjoying running with the ball at every opportunity. Whenever he picks it, he's getting good angle and good ball going forward. Very mobile for his size and enjoys using his power to pass on it. Captain Newman of should have made better use of that ball. Nonetheless, the Buffaloes Crouch. have the scrum down. Pause again. Okomo, was that straight? Roll off. In all sorts That's of problems fine. there, getting wrapped up by the Rhinos' defense, they get it out. Mze finds Amondi on the outside. Can he recover? Peter Kong with his fast touch in the ball. Ball off forward here. A bit disappointed, but uh, being encouraged by his teammates, uh, could do better. Yes, and uh, the Buffaloes have found themselves Ball. in the deep end here. Scrum down. Taking on a very experienced and clinical Rhino side, who just seem to be getting into their paces and getting into the stride of the Super Series tournament. It's going to be five weeks of breathtaking rugby across East Africa. And this, and this is only game one. And you can see the hunger in the Rhinos. They, they want to make history in this tournament. They want to be the first back-to-back -back champions. And as a coach said earlier, two, yeah? Clear. He has a squad and Clear. he's playing a squad system rotating all his players. So on this game, he's Let's giving go. some of the French players a chance to prove themselves and they aren't letting him down so far. Coach! Yes, uh, Touch. the Rhinos again. seem to have gotten that one right, giving many of the other key players a rest. Come, 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 come again. And letting come. the Let's have it almost again. new hands Square. kind of Pop. sort this one out. Down. Last the pooling in this pool was tricky. You mentioned it earlier. Two foreign teams. Yes, there's a Renzori and Victoria from Uganda. Renzori is the stronger. Pause again. But uh, we'll no! see them. They play their game on Tuesday. 
an old, an old Ugandan derby. Human Opio with a bit of fight still. Please! Went back! Roll off! Solid tackling coming in by the Rhinos. Buffaloes have men on the outside. Nze is missed on the pass there. Shows the ball. Jacob Omondi. The hoot has gone, so the Buffaloes will look to keep this alive. Can they keep back, it back, in? Back. They want to finish on a high, the Buffaloes. They want to finish the half on the high. Controlling. They have the ball still. Can they get it out? Elvin Okongo. Human Opio, the captain. Rolovielo! Still with the fight. Good control by the Buffaloes. Good control. Okongo. A loser. Oh. And never takes it. This could be dangerous. The Rhinos have men on the outside. They've got their flyers. Turn back. Pressure coming in Ambunya. Beats one. Roll off! Can they extend their lead just before the half? Where? Leg advantage. He shows the ball. Can he make contact? Yes. Finds Joseph Kangeda. They play the ball out. Ohanji again with the ball. Can he make it again? Oh no. Good tackle. Advantage over. A child good to Roll off! Get off! Goal by Duncan Lanya. Release and play off! They take it quickly. The Buffaloes are offside. Shioya. Referee is playing advantage as Shioya releases. Roll off! Finds where Rui. <laughs> and the Buffaloes need to be careful, yeah? Hold it. Captain, for blue. So, yeah, no, no. It's a penalty here. Yeah? Put it down. Put it down. And move back. Guys, we've talked about this consistently. No? Uh, it's too much. Hands in the rack. Hands, hands in the uh, flowing around the ball. They want a quick ball. We've talked about it. The Roll away. I penalize him there. He's slowing it down again here deliberately. Next guy is also going to go off. Been too much. Free earlier on. Had no choice this time but to reach out for the cards in his pocket. That's right, the Buffalo's guilty of that. They're slowing down. down the ball every time. And they will call for the scrum down. The Rhinos will look to drive this one. So seconds. Just getting himself in the wrong place. Not releasing after the tackle and uh, well spotted by the referee. And he has walked, so he's going to cool it off in the sin bin. Remember, the hoot has gone. So this could be the last play. Wanting to take advantage of the numerical strength in the coach. Scrum. Touch. Rhinos Pause again. Scrum down. You can see Jeff or George. Achayo. Achayo. Turn back. And the Buffaloes will walk it out for the half. The UAP Rhinos, 36 points ahead. They have been in charge. They have dominated this half. Oh, it's been a very exciting first half game. The dominance has been one-sided, but uh, the Buffaloes have shown with the youth and experience, inexperience uh, that they can still be a part of this game. Young, exciting. Yes, and uh, so it's going to be a cracker. The second half coming up. Halftime scores, UAP Rhinos 36, and the Buffaloes nil. We'll be right back for the second half of this match.
Time between the UAP Rhinos and the Buffaloes. It has been a commandeering performance by the Rhinos. They have been in charge, have had most of the possession in this half, and you can see the errors they forced from the incessant pressure they're making against that Buffaloes backline. I mean, looking at the statistics, you can see from the tackles made who's been on the defending side most of the time. Errors more on the Buffalo side and territory and possession more towards the Buffalo Rhinos. You can see the dominance and experience of the Rhinos showing in this game. The score is not a surprise. 36 nil. Pretty, tra pretty much traffic in one direction. That's it. So all the work to do for the Buffaloes. We will be back with the second half of this Bamburi Rugby Super Series match between the UAP Rhinos and the Buffaloes.
We're back for the second half of the match day one Bamburi Rugby Super Series. The UAP Rhinos taking on the Mumia Sugar Buffaloes, and it has been a one inside one sided encounter to this point. I'm sure both coaches had plenty to say at half time. Mumia Sugar Buffaloes asking his players to come out and be counted on the pitch, urging to show the character that has made them a very well rounded side in Western Kenya. Yes, the UAP Rhinos remember the defending champions of the Super Series matches. They have won this trophy three times and they will be going through their paces as they build their campaign in the 2010 edition of this tournament. You can see some changes made by the Rhinos already giving key players a rest. Give you information in a short while, but Simon Oruki on the pitch, number 20. And uh, look to Simon Oruki to be very instrumental in linking the 5-8, the back line. Simon Waruki, number 20, have take, has taken the place of Dennis Mohanji, who limped off in the first half with a bit of an injury. Tactical shift, seeing Gibson Weru most likely moving over to the wing. Waruki at fly half, a very experienced fly half. Hasn't done a call up to the national team yet, but uh, been a main stay for Nakuru in recent years. Yes, and the Mumia Sugar Buffaloes will need to reorganize themselves if they're to have half a chance in this one. The Rhinos firmly leading and uh, all work. It's going to be cut up rugby for the Buffaloes. They need to be organized. Their set piece has been wanting and they need to recover. The restart by Wariuki puts it high up. Buffaloes unable to just put their hands on that. And the knock on coming well, look off on. the kickoff. That's not the start the Buffaloes will want. Now I can still see plenty of nerves from uh, the Buffalo side. And, uh, would have expected at least after half time they're settled down and ready to play a good second half but you can think uh, been overwhelmed by this powerful rhino side featuring several sevens and fifteen internationals in the team touch pause engage solid scrum by the rhinos jeff george continuing where he left off with a powerful run from the base very close to the try line good support Weru plays it on the outside. Oscar Oma has crossed an immediate try off the kickoff for the UAP Rhinos. Oscar Oma with his second try. There's just no stopping this Rhino side at the moment. 50 seconds into the second half kickoff. Oscar Oma after a powerful run by Jeff Ojoaj. Scores another try for his side. You can come, see come, Jeff Ojoaj there making good. Yeah, taking out three defenders before. Oscar Oma receiving a pass from Gibson Weru and finding the line with ease. Yes, the Buffalo's defense was stretched there. You can see Newman Opio just asking himself what could be going on, what does he need to do to counter this onslaught by the UAP Rhinos. An immediate try on the restart. They have stretched their lead once more. I'm sure they're telling themselves, come on guys, let's let's give a good performance. Let's play the game of rugby here. Yeah, I mean this is super series. Yes, they need all the encouragement they can get. Weru snatched onto that one. Didn't have much behind it, so the score will remain. Rhinos leading. And there you have Oscar Uma. A big run by Jeff Ojoach. He did all the hard work, drawing the defense, creating the offside line there. The ball was played out, and there was no stopping him. Oscar Uma beat one, beat two, and just stretched out. He's having a good game, Oscar. Absolutely. And information reaching us here is that in Arusha, the Sharks have a commanding 17-3 lead against the Twiggers. 22 minutes played in Arusha. Super Series, five venues, East Africa's regional rugby tournament. Roll off! Very good. Join some fancy stuff from a big man, a George. Another powerful run. Good ball retention here. He is really carrying the ball forward, Ojoach, whenever he gets it, making valuable yardage for his side, and he's emerging as a class number eight. Ball is at the back, where he has dummy runners. Makes the long pass, Wariuki. Finds Agunda. Agunda is strong on his feet, supported by Ambunya. They drive it to ground. Yes, that, and, and, and the Buffaloes will need to be careful with this, oh, yes, because sorry. they will be punished sorry, every time they lose Watch. their discipline. Anytime they enter to the side, the referee is not going to waste, waste time. He's going to call it immediately. Look at Patrice Agunda there. Powerful runner, strong arms, good retention, good support from Mambunya. Gibson Weru 
A regular starter for the Kenya 7 side. Plays his rugby in Nakuru, which is his home club. Today doing duty for the franchise side, the UAP Rhinos. The play, the play who actually went off uh, is uh, the scrum of Edwin Child. And just still on the pitch on the wing. Yeah. Eight? Eight blue. Yeah. Eight blue, three yellow. Yeah. Nothing much? Nothing we'll, much. We'll just continue. Just, yeah, continue. Eight blue, three yellow. Okay. Yeah, just to... Eight blue, three yellow. Consultations there from the assistant referee <coughs> to the referee. Gentlemen, we've played 44 minutes of the game and it's been clean. Let's keep it that way, all right? That's all. You know what's going to happen. A sporty handshake there between the two players. Neiman O'Pia, the captain, and Joseph Kangere. Referee just telling them to control their tempers. It's been clean, it's been good, and let's keep it that way. Two big men trying to assert the authority on the pitch. The captain of Pio and Kangere leading the front row. Great pass out to Ariyuki. Agunda is waiting for the inside run. Of and he did not find him. But Juarez just unable to control it and have lost it. It was good movement off the top of the line out. They had men on the outside. They were moving the ball wide and just seeming to get caught into the mechanisms of a move and not making better use of that play, the Rhinos. They could have been better execution with that ball. But uh, gives the, the Buffaloes another chance to try and get back into this game. Young, exciting, but uh, definitely Touch. overwhelmed. Balls engage. 35 minutes for them to put some points. Look at the powerful drive of the Rhino scrum. Very strong, but the Buffaloes managed to get it out. And Lusa, Lusa gives it to Sidindi. Sidindi puts it up in the air. Angie takes it with these. Ashoya, Kenya Sevens. Is it safe? Doesn't find touch. Kelvin Mze, oh, gives it to Ashoya and Ashoya with a great turn of speed all the way racing. Will he make it? Oh yes, with ease it does. Fancy sidestep there. Sydney Ashoya stretching the Rhinos with another try. An intercept. Five points from him. Once again, the Buffaloes guilty of kicking away the possession. They had the ball, they kicked it away every time and they have gifted the Rhinos with another try. And unlucky for Kelvin Mze there, he looked for the pass and Sydney Ashoya was prowling. He's got the gas. The Kenya Sevens International is not going to be caught with an open field ahead of him. Showing why his class, former Kenya Harlequins captain, has got his name on the score sheet and has stretched this Rhinos lead. The conversion is good. Gibson Weru. Almost reminiscent of the way they play Sevens. Quick try by Ashoya, drop goal by Weru, and let's do the business. And there he had his run. He was out on the flank, he put his head down and pumped those legs. Who was going to catch him? One the cross cover by Jacob Omondi had no hope. Great try by Shoya. One of the fastest players in Kenyan rugby. I mean, catching this man is absolutely incredible. When he's got a good turn of pace and with the ball, he will score for you anytime. Sydney Ashoya, former Kenya Queens captain, former Kenya Sevens captain, and still very much an integral part of the Sevens team. Buffaloes. Can they get something going? Sidindi with a good run. Rock! See big advantage. The kill the, the ball. One. A loser out to Newman Opio. Newman Opio, the big man, leading from the front, taking on the Kangethers who seem to have found the liking to him. Almost pedestrian there by the Buffaloes. The feed from Vincent Alusa was, he was going across, he was hardly running, and they've run into problems there, but... Uh, Ball up forward. Referee was playing advantage, good advantage play by Raymond Oru has brought the ball back for the national knock-on. So it is going to be a scrum down That's why it's a ball. to the blue shirts. Good fluid movements from uh, the Buffaloes. Mistakes creeping in their game, but uh, a good start for them. One, the two tries considered so far, not really a true reflection of what the effort will be putting. They make a foray into the Buffaloes. The Rhinos rear guard. Balls engage! Let's see what they can do. Okongo. Losing the ball, Okongo there. Under pressure from uh, Gibson. Off him. Very versatile player. I've seen him play in most positions from fullback to scrum up. He can play anywhere from 9 to 10. 
seven now. He's reverted to position nine. That's yeah. Kama for the right. Very right. Gibson Weru personifies the top of the back. He's very versatile. Right now, Buffaloes with a storm down. They have been turned, but they have it. It's gone round. Gone round 90. Good scrummaging by the Rhinos. They put the pressure, they wheel it on the left side, and uh, the Buffaloes just unable to counter that. With a powerful front row like that of the Kangaroos yeah, yeah, you're, and you're the, Rui, you're on the back. you must exercise and the pressure all the way. The advantage must be yours, and they're exactly doing that. Touch! Balls engage! Hard time to the Buffaloes front row. Anyone? Anyone? So much time at the back for Weru there. Ambunya, unable to take him down. Kelvin Zay with the tackle, they play it out. Oscar Uma. Run off! Run off! Blue run off! Desperate defending by the Buffaloes. They need to roll away, they need to let it go. The ball is out, James Kangele. Gives it to a George Lango with the ball. Been pretty quiet since the score this try, but uh, coming back into the game now. Advantage offside! Yes, and the Buffalo's backs had to be offside. There is no way. Sydney Ashoya will look to punish them. He's beaten one and two. He's let it go. Better play. Mohanji in support. Leon Adongo just unable to control it. The Buffaloes need to be careful. Onside. Oh, yes. They have been caught in offside position. But look at Sydney Ashoya running through one man, beating a second man, beat, almost beating a third man, but keeping position. Good run from Ashoya. Showing that uh, a little nifty guy he is, he can beat the defense line. Weru. Weru. Weru finds touch for his side. Rhinos. Buffalo's back to a full eight months from. Marcin Omondi back from the bin, 10 minutes over. Hold, hold, hold. You're okay, then you're fine. Yeah. But it's okay. a penalty for the Rhinos. Nice clean line out from the Rhinos. Ball not straight. Not straight again. Oh, they're straight. having problems with the, the Rhinos with the line out. Of course, the Rhinos need to sort out this line out. It will be something they look to strengthening as their campaign proceeds. A lot of new players on the Buffaloes, the Rhinos franchise, and uh, just not sorting that out as they should have. Warroy with the throw wasn't straight. Come back. So the Buffaloes with the defensive line out. Edindi, oh, no, 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 no. down. Warroy, good take. Drop. Sashoya. Ooh. Pressure from the Buffaloes on the Rhinos. Taken in. And Mohanji. Hold, hold, get back, 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 blue! Good consolidation. Advantage. Offside. Meru. Out to Ambunya, who gives it to Mohanji. Let's get back foot, blue. Buffaloes guilty once again of being caught offside. I think uh, at some point in time, the ref will be having a word. And there are changes being made by this Buffalo side. Stay, stay. And yeah. Uh, and he appears there, in a bit of pain. It's the hooker, Jacob Small Valley. Not nice. Jared Owen claimed the ball there, was strong tried protecting it at all costs and just caught an elbow of sorts appears to be concussed unfortunate there fortunate for Jay Cox he's uh, he's been one of the few fighters in the Buffalo's front five Jay Cox Mwavali is the man on the ground substitutions nonetheless running on Chris Ondijo Mike Okombe and Kevin Keegan. No relation to the famous Kevin Keegan, but uh, bearing the same name, can he produce the same effect as the Mighty Mouse? So Kelvin Mze will take a rest in the midfield, as well as Victor Angawa in the front row. So Buffalo is possibly looking for a change of tact and strategy here, strengthening their front row and reinforcing their midfield. It's been in the front five, front eight, where they've been under pressure from uh, the Rhinos' front row. <clears throat> Looking down to strengthen themselves. 
the picture's coming, you can see. Ah, 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 the crowd is ah. jump packed, the grounds are full. Ah. This is Super Series Rugby at, all. at its best. Fabulous pictures we're watching. Keen and intent okay. and uh, the player that's on the ground getting outside. attention. How to continue play. Okay. This is blood. That's blood. Let's it can come. Yeah? Just bring in someone. Let's deal that blood outside. I'm playing on. You can see the crowd building up for this game. They know there's five weeks of super series rugby, super rugby here. And they're all wanting to be part of the action. Not wanting to miss it. We see Jay Cox Mavali there. Being treated off the pitch. Yet to see if he'll come back. Midway in the second half of the second match. The UAP Rhinos firmly in charge. They're controlling this one. Time on. Playing the game at their own pace. And yeah. the Rhinos will be making a change here. The triple substitution coming up forward. The Rhinos. But game continues. Gibson Weru. Penalty. They go for the line out. Wanting to use the advantage and strength up front. Yellow sub. There you have the Rhinos making the impact substitutions coming on. Vincent Tongera, he will replace James Kangede on the front row. Thirteen, three, one. Barraza Thirteen, will come three, on for and one. Joseph Kangede. So the Twins will take a rest. They've made their contribution and their impact. Graham Komba will come in at the midfield for David Ambunya. So three substitutions for the Rhinos as well. You can see the, oh, no, no, the substitutions they have let the let next game in mind. So they'd rather rest their key players here. Good front row performance oh, by the Kangas back from Australia. Go, 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 go. The Kenyan rugby scene has been good for them. Graham Kumbo, versatile centre for Nakuru, replacing the young schoolboy, ex-schoolboy David Ambunya. Look at the twins, oh, uh, Kangeve yeah. and Kangeve, James and Joe. Come, in, that in, is in, a in, break in. for Stay them. There. Go, 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 They've go. pummeled, tortured and go, go, go. made it difficultly for the Buffaloes forwards. Rhinos in the line-up. They look to organise this and drive it. The Buffaloes need to be careful and get back on site. Who will stop this marauding forward pack? They have it bottled back. Richmond Barraza. He's just come off. Is he going to write his name on the score sheet? Okay, hold, hold. Moving to the ground. Weru is organising. Chargers. Plays the ball on the short side. They've got the ball back. Vincent Nangera, top try scorer, Hello, and uh, just concluded Kenya Cup. Say, say, back foot, back foot. He to get back. his hands on the ball and uh, get back to scoring ways. And it's out. Well, ooh. Agunda and Karkaris, Twice. big take of him. Take the first one. And neither side's able to control that. We have also a blood substitution coming on for Jay Cox. Mark Cavalli was Emmanuel Oruko, so he's on the field. And we had the action earlier. Agunda just unable to control the ball on contact there. Buffalo hold, still hold, hold, on the fence, wait, wait, wait. feeling the heat, feeling the pressure okay. on the Rhinos. Looking now to keep the scores down in this game and at least Touch. that measure of respectability Both, by putting some points. But they're in the wrong half of the game. Buffalo's clear their lines. They need to find touch. Whenever the Buffaloes get quality possession here, but they are always kicking it away, and it's not helping them much in terms yeah. of possession. No, not, 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 a good, not, not a good game strategy, because uh, possession is nine-tenths of the game, and uh, if they're kicking the ball away, it makes it easier for, harder for them to retain the ball. While well, giving the Rhinos an upper hand, all the Rhinos have to do is uh, sit back, wait for them to kick, and attack once more. Great line-out by the Rhinos. They've got with on it and uh, Wariyuki forcing the pass. Agunda had to turn and uh, he's dropping well, a few of them. Just when, just when they got it right up front, they get it wrong at the back. Look at that. Yeah, but the pass turned him. He had to turn his body, struggled to get it. So it's useful when the Flav can put the ball ahead of the runner. Oh, yeah. So you stretch and run Touch. into it instead of having to turn. Both so, engage. 
Unforced errors there once again by the Rhinos. It's a scrum down to the Buffaloes. You can feel the Rhinos have uh, gone a gear down in their game. Not, not, not as uh, hungry as they were in the first half, but I guess it's uh, the comfortable lead that they have. The Buffaloes. Once again, that kick, the kicked away possession, just when they had it. Ashoya just not able to control forward, it. The chase yeah. was coming in from Jacob Omundi. Could have done better by keeping ball in hand, but kicking it again. And uh, Ashoya with an uncharacteristic error there. Yeah, I guess it, you, you, can, you can tell the pace of the game has actually gone down. You can see players are a bit tired and a bit uh, complacent. The mistakes now coming at a very high rate. I'm sure the, co the coaches will not be too happy about this. Touch! Balls engage! <laughs> Not a good scrum there. Referee calls it out. Safety of players is very paramount here. Yeah. Very paramount. It's key. Make sure that scrum is attacking you. Come, come, come. Add to the board. So here's a Buffalo scrum down. Balls engage. Can they get points on the board? Congo feeds it in, but look at that drive from the Rhinos. Great scrummage from the Rhinos. Baraza coming on with the impact they wanted. Vincent Tongera putting tremendous pressure on that Buffalo. Just unable to control it totally. And uh, they're going to retake this one. You can see the second rows of the Buffaloes basically splitting up. It's come disintegrating right in front of our eyes here. Big drive from the Rhinos. Touch! Pause, engage! Another scrum down. The Buffaloes. Can they get it out into seven round to the Rhinos? Good scrum down for them. Human appeal, good pick. Release! But he's been arrested. Oh, and he didn't release. Yeah. He did not release. Right in front of the referee, appeal. Unlucky. But that is the pressure that the Rhinos are putting in on the breakdown. They're quick on their feet, contesting every ball and at every chance. They will punish you. He's had it rough at the base there, Newton Human of View, but as a captain, he has soldiered on, hasn't given up. He's been soldiering on right from the beginning of this game, and the experience he will take back with his team to Mumias is going to be quite good. Richmond Barraza there, former Mwamba player now applying his trade in Nakuru. A welcome return to the Rhino structure. They'll take it on the top. Ball out to Wariyuki. He's got runners. Out for no the defenders! Dummies. Needed to be careful with that. Back, 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 back. But they still have it. Weru has his hands on it. They feed it out to the wing. They find Mohanji. And runners! Draws in two defenders. Hold, hold, hold. Back! Weru plays it to Ongera. 17. Ongera, a powerful runner there. You can see the strength in him. Uh, retaining the ball and Weru. Martin Amondi. Captain Blue. Yeah, and the ref will definitely be having a word with uh, the Buffaloes. It's been happening way too often. Your guys are not retreating back foot always. The next guy who's offside, I'm going to send off. Okay? Talk to them. Next guy is getting a yellow card. Time for some team talk. The referee's made it pretty clear he's not going to entertain any offsides. Human appeal rallying his troops and telling them, guys, let's get it right. We don't want to be wearing a man down. It's hard already. We've got 15, 14 men. It's been hard. Yes, that's right. Weru finds touch. Will the Rhinos look to wind this up with a flourish of tries? Only time will tell. They lead 48 points. Where the An answer where by the, the Buffalo is just not able to string any pieces of play together hey, hey, hey. with a potential threat here. Even as, as the Rhinos have uh, gone down a gear, the Buffaloes haven't stepped up at all. Warui with the lineup. The Rhinos have it at the back. You can see Jared Owenio there just trying to organize the attack. Jeff Fodrach wants to get his ball on it, his hands on the ball. Side. The Buffaloes once again offside. The ref is playing advantage. Mumia Sugar Buffaloes just unable to control this. What is where we're going to? Is he going to kick for touch? He has opted for touch, so 
look for them to play it at number two and drive it in for the try. And as the liners of the Rhinos have been getting better, they've been more confident in taking that line out. That's, that's how crowd is like building up. Rhinos supporters, you can see them. Line out for Rui. Good catch by him. Makori. Hold it up! It's a drive. Keep it up! Big powerful drive. Vincent Mangera very much at the heart of that drive. They make it. Yes, it's another try. Vincent Mangera, the Kenya Cup top try scorer and the second half substitute with another try for the Rhinos. You can see the smile on his face. This man is used to scoring tries, Peter. Yes, the replacement Vincent Tungera making his impact and immediately felt in this match. The bodies were low, he's so strong, unstoppable, well supported by Oscar Ouma there. So Vincent Tungera will get on the score sheet. Yeah, and the try is good. The yeah. Rhinos, well, there's no stopping them at this point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very versatile player, he can play anywhere in the front row. More as a specialist hooker, but when it calls upon him to prop, he surely fits into the propping shoes easily. Wariyuki, the shot at goal. When he's on song, he is a beauty to watch with this kid. Absolutely. Nah, just not getting the accuracy on that kick. It drifts wide, so the scores will not change. I think there, yeah. Powerful drive from the Rhinos there. Ongera with the try. You can see very organized, very sharp with the drive. Vincent Ongera, Kenya Hulligan, utility front true. So it is a restart. The Buffaloes put it high up. David Mogera replacement with the ball. Get off, get off, Blue! They need to get it back. Stay on your feet. And you keep your mouth to yourself. The Buffaloes just not staying on their feet on that. Stay on your feet. Mike Okombe with an almost dive into that rack. So once again, they have lost valuable possession. And position and the rhinos with a chance seven seven blue four blue keep him out to yourselves the rhinos family in charge are looking to set a record possibly in Super Series Rugby with the score in this one. Remember, if the Buffaloes finish with nil, could be a statistic witnessing here. Jeff Ochoac, thundering from Final David defenders. Mugere. Drives it to the ground. Roll off. They're looking Did dangerous it. here, the Rhinos. Quick ball out. Where finds Wariuki. Maraza. Roll off. Pummeling. The Buffaloes' defense. Desperate defense by the Buffaloes. Desperate defense. You can see them there scrambling, trying to get the ball. Nope. But the Rhinos Let's didn't it. have it. Weiru out to Graham Combo. Graham Combo, can he make a mark in this game so far? Oh, oh. Combo seemed to have been able to do that himself. Why he looks to pass. Possibly just uh, Leon Adongo was in a better position and should have had his own. Combo had beaten one man with a goose step there. Turned and Leon, was he tackled without the ball? Close call. Close call. He may have actually been impeded before he got the ball. But, uh, I think we'll go with the uh, scrum down call by the referee for moving on forward. Interesting. Uh, Buffaloes look to have actually re resigned to their fate at this stage of the game. Trying to wind Touch. down the clock, but there's still plenty Pulls of much engage. game to play. Yeah. Up. And that was the pressure. Elvin Okonga, so much pressure. Oi, actually, oi, just not oi, sure where he should put it that's in. That's the second time that's happening. <laughs> Don't show the ball until you're ready to play it. Yeah, and uh, the referee just having a word with him because he seemed like he was putting it in. Changed his mind halfway between it. Touch! Knocked it on. Pulls engage! <laughs> A bit dangerous to do that at that level. Charge down there, but that's fine. That's fine. No, charge down. Charge down. That's fine. Scrum down. 
Yes, it's going to be a scrum down to the attacking side. The Rhinos once again with a chance to scratch their lead even further. Great defense coming in by the Rhinos. Back row in that. Where he was off his mark, he was quick. Up in there, David Moguere. And that is the impact of fresh legs. He's quick. Doesn't give the 5-8 any time. Touch! With the clearance, Kevin Keegan. And all sorts of problems there. So they have won the scrum down. Hey, 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 hey. You can see. There's only one ref here. So you're on the whistle? Um, it's me you are refing, eh? Okay, I don't want to talk to you. No, no, hold on, hold on, up. Do you want to play? Okay. I will control it. The Buffaloes Scrum need to maintain their, their discipline. You can understand their frustration. They've hardly had the ball throughout Crouch. this match. Touch. They're 53 Pause. points Engage. down and just wondering what is going on. Human of the uh, challenging the referee. Well Avoid The referee asserting his authority. And it's a big drive by the Rhinos. Gibson were caught there as he tried to do a pass. <laughs> Stay bound. Stay bound. How many penalties are the Buffaloes going to give away? At every point of contact, they seem to be making a mistake here. What will the Rhinos do? They're solid in the scrum, but they're going to look to take it quickly. Vincent Longuera, the quick tap. They want to drive it over the line. Desperate defense Use again. It. Desperate defense from Use. the Buffaloes. Have the Rhinos lost it? Yes, they have. Some ray of hope there from the Buffaloes in their defense. Not wanting to be breached at the back. Still fighting. Still showing fighting spirit, the Buffaloes. Scrum down. Four to them means meaningless. But they're showing a great fight. Stay bound, eh? Stay bound. So look Crouch. to the Rhinos to put Balls pressure against. on this uh, Buffalo scrum down. They've cleared it well. Can they get it out, Sidindi? Puts it high up. Dead center, he's not found touch. Foss just coughing out the ball at Leg the last advantage. minute. Mutai cleans it up for the Rhinos. Takes it to ground. They have men on the outside. Bondo. Yo. That was that for or not? Leona Dongo. Oh, getting involved once again. Stay back foot! Back foot! You can see the Rhinos launching another attack. It's a wave after wave of attack with Ongera leading the front charge. And run off! Get off, Blue! Get back! Where Advantage! Offside, eight! Patrice Agunda. Not had a very exciting second eight. half, Patrice Agunda. Give some bad passes and there. Uh, Talked about it. Another must go back. And the captain, unfortunately. Yes, going forward all the time, all the time. <coughs> Newman Opio, the captain, yeah. and all sorts of problems. Eight. And, uh, Eight. He has an opinion, but uh, the referee seems no, no, to out there. think otherwise. So he will cool his heels. That's possibly the last time he's on the match for this game. With nine minutes of play. And the Rhinos will love to kick it. Frustrated Mumia's Buffaloes here. Nothing seems to have gone their way, and it's boiled down in the captain being sent off. Yeah, you can see, I mean, he's had a very, very hard game. He's been the lone warrior for this team. He's fought and fought and fought, but I think the frustrations of uh, being uh, almost 50-plus points down, 53 points down, has actually finally got to him. Yes, and it's welcome to Super Series Rugby for the Buffaloes. Uh, it's a bit of a blow for them, actually, not to have come off with a better performance in this match but they can look towards building it and replying <laughs> Bariuki's conversion is good though he'll stretch the Rhinos lead with eight minutes of play now it's almost a formality for the Rhinos the Buffaloes don't seem to have anything and now uh, now a man down the captain having been sent off yeah and he's going to be disappointed tried his best he was almost the lone ranger and that buffalo's attack especially within their forwards the peter okongo with the restart kicks it deep leona dongo he's quick he's beaten one and two tackler just getting onto him and yeah that was a 
Graham Combo should have done better with that. Odongo just getting tackled at the end, hanging on to almost his laces there. It was Bramwell Shikanda. And Graham Combo just unable to control it at the end there. The mark is here. So can the Buffaloes come off with a score here? They're playing for pride. Couch! Touch! Balls engage! So let's cry, Malusa. Roll off! By Mogere. No, no, no. Ball knock forward. Ball knock forward. Come, come. Off, off Lucky you. on the tackle there, David Mogere. With a ball and all tackle. But uh, knocked it on on the tackle. Just Kevin Keegan with an desperate attempt. They want to put some points for respectability, for pride. Touch. Balls engage. Scrum down. Up. Look at the pressure coming in from that right News. attack. They are so strong on the take, forcing the locks almost to stand. The pressure coming in. You can see that drive as soon as the ball is in. They are moving forward and the Buffaloes are in trouble here. Touch! Balls again! Jeff Ojwat just unable to control it. And it's a turnover. Buffaloes have it. Can they make better use of it? The ball's gone back. Referee says play on. Just no advantage. Ball off forward. Both sides unable to control that ball there. The Buffalo's almost gifted with that one. The solid scrum. Jeff Ochoa to all sorts of attempts to pick that one up. And just unable to control it at the back there. The crowd has enjoyed the rugby two matches. Cheetahs victorious Touch. in the earlier game, and Balls right now engaged. the Rhinos are on course to win match number two of match day number one with the searching kick. Ashoya puts it high up. And once again, the Buffaloes guilty of kicking away the possession whenever they get it. Definitely something that the coach Ochienga Haya will look towards correcting in their Super Series campaign. Emmanuel Oruko with the put in. Throw is good. The ball is at the back. Anthony Kabiru. The pulled it. Okongo. With a loop run. They've got run at Sidindi. The ball has been taken over. Graham Combo. Support coming in. Jeff Ojwat draws in the defenders. Good straight running by the number eight. Just unable to control it. It's a bit messy there. The Rhinos had the opportunity, but it will still have a scrum down. As the clock winds down, it has been a one-sided match. A breathtaking performance, almost a display of rugby by the Rhinos. Buffaloes unable to answer to counter this Buffaloes attack that has come from every point on the park. Touch! Balls engage! Duarte finds Patrice Agunda. He's got support on the outside. Sydney Ashoya unable to find him on the support run. Nick Lango cleans it up. Hold, hold, hold. Back, back, back. Rhinos have got men on the outside. Back, back, back. 17. We're organizing his runners. Buffalo's not countering that rack at all. Vincent Ogera. Back, back. Okay, move, move. To give, the give. We need the ball out quickly. Weru makes it out cleanly. He's got Wariuki is in space. Puts it in the air. Naftali Bondo. Almost like they were training the Rhinos. Rucks out of that one. Good play by the Buffaloes and uh, yeah, Patrice Agunda should have been aware the ball was on the ground, a bit careless of Patrice. Yeah, that That's will see him with a card. Right? Quite unnecessary from Patrice Agunda there. 
the ball was on, they had been rugged over. He got his body on the floor and on the ball. Bondo could counter a coming in from the Buffaloes there and Agunda just diving in off the side. And he'll see the sin bin. Quick play, didn't find touch. Sidney Ashoya finds Wariuki. He's got men on the outside. Good run by Warui. Great pace for a hooker it's as a well, Warui. Weru finds Lango. Thumping run coming in from Lango. Is he isolated? Just manages to push it back. Wariuki puts it up in the air again. Is it for Dongo? Not much purpose no in that calls. kick. They play it on Shikanda. Puts it in the air. Yeah, both sides just uh, kind of losing focus, I guess, for the Rhinos. This is done. They know they've won it. The two men in the bin there, Agunda and uh, Newman Opio. He's a disappointed man this afternoon. Can the Rhinos sort out their lineup? Good throw by Wariu fans Lango. Wariu to Wariuki. Cut in pass by Graham Combo. Strong run, fence off one. Vincent Tongera with the charging run. He is in space. Has he got the support? Richmond Baraza. Baraza with the try. Great play by the Rhinos. The crowd love it. Yes. It's all, it's all Rhinos right now. Almost at the stroke of full time. We have upstairs. Great try by Baraza. Okay. Karimi? Zero. Karimi, can you hear me? Karimi, can you hear me? Yeah. Seem to be good. Karimi, can you hear me? Ray, you want me to award the try? Ray? Ray, can you hear me? Ray, can you hear me? Award the try. Award the try. Yes, the try. Ray, yeah, award the try. Award the try. This one, Baraza, with a beautiful try for the Rhinos. The hard work was done by Vincent Tongera. You can see the ball out to Tongera breaks one tackle, breaks four tackles, and finds Baraza in the space. Good hands, he stretched out and got it. And uh, he was in for the try. So the Rhinos have wrapped this one up, finished with a flurry. Ongera was quick. He's got pace for Huka, and Baraza is in support. Who can catch him? And he loves it. Great try for Baraza. You can see it. He enjoys it. Great try for the replacement. Can Mariyuki crown it off with points? Should be finished. Yeah. Playing their time now. He just pulls it wide. I'm lucky for him. Yes, I can hear you. Great try for the Rhinos. You can see yep, Ongera nice there. Back. He broke the first tackle. Thank you. He looked for the support and Baraza, who was going to stop him, handed off Sidindi like he wasn't there. And the Buffaloes are overwhelmed by the marauding Rhinos. The UAP Rhinos have been a class act in this second match of day one of the Super Series Rugby. Restart by the Buffaloes. Fielded well by Macquarie, the Rhinos have it, it. it has been turned off. The ball is turned over. Bradley Donde sets it up. Can the Buffaloes pull one back for pride? Duncan Lanya. Good Play support advantage. coming in, it's been turned over. 17, get back foot. Back foot. Unlucky Richmond Baraza was offside crowd getting behind the Buffaloes here. Can Getting they up. get a score? Oh, official playing time appears to be up. What will they opt for? The Buffaloes do not want to leave with no score in this one. So the responsibility is going to lie on Kevin Keegan. Can Keegan put 
The Mumia Sugar Buffaloes on the scoreboard. Oh, and he has pulled it wide. He rushed his kick. Unlucky. And uh, we're going to restart. It's going to be a 22 dropout. Unlucky for the Buffaloes there. They so wanted to get their name on the score sheet. But right now, as it stands, the Rhinos could possibly be setting a record in Super Series Rugby. Weru with a restart. Puts it high up. Got men under it. The Buffaloes win it. Fine, hold on! tackle on Martin Omondi. Playing the ball out. Well, look forward. The captain is back on. Play on! Newman Opio. <laughs> Tony Mutai finds Vincent Tongero. Mutai. Was it forward? And that is the final whistle. The UAP Rhinos, 61 points, an emphatic victory for them. No response for the Buffaloes. The Buffaloes nil. So it has been a thrilling encounter here at the RFU year ground. The Cheetahs winning the earlier match. The UAP Rhinos, full-time scores, we have them there. 61 points to nil. So the Rhinos will win this. the earlier try this was the first try Jeff Ojoas getting his name on the score sheet Sydney Ashoya quick thinking took the ball quickly he found the support who could catch Leon Adongo outside